we get the, I'm gonna get the trucks a moment. Get the trucks a moment. All right. Welcome, welcome to the to the welcome to the Tesla Semi Truck event. I hope you like what you see. Um, it, it blows my mind. I think it'll blow yours. Starting with performance. So we have a, an acronym we came up with um, that uh, I think really really describes the performance well. Uh, let's show what the, the truck, uh, what, what it's like to be in a Tesla truck. This is real time. Okay. So that's, the, the Tesla, the Tesla Semi will go zero to 60 in five seconds. So that, that's by itself or with a trailer. Now at 80,000 pounds max gross vehicle weight, that's the most amount of weight you can carry on a US highway. This is the real time acceleration of a Tesla Semi. That, on the left, the thing that looks like it's not moving is a diesel truck. Eventually it'll get there. All right. Even with 80,000 pounds pulling max gross, getting 60 miles an hour in 20 seconds. That's what it can do. Now, what about up a hill? Okay, the, the best diesel trucks can only do 45 miles an hour up a 5% grade. Tesla Semi can do 65 miles an hour up to 5% grade. Yeah. What this means is that if, you've got a, if you're pulling a load over the Rockies or some mountainous terrain up a hill, you, you're earning per mile. You're earning 50% more per mile than you are in a diesel truck. That's about uh, electric trucks is, well, how far can they go? Because, well, let's find out. So 500 mile range. at highway speed. So you're doing like 60 miles an hour. <laughs> As a, by way of comparison, if a Bugatti Chiron, which is a $2 million supercar, has a .38 drag coefficient. So it's got a better drag coefficient than a supercar. So uh, this, this makes a huge difference to the drag coefficient. Uh, the, the bottom of the truck is also completely flat, so the air can flow straight through. Uh, these are things that you don't see on any other trucks, and it gives us an incredible highway range. One of the key factors. We also, there's, a, there's a motor on each of the rear wheels, and an independent front, front suspension, so it's incredibly comfortable to, to drive this truck. You can legally drive that. <laughs> no, it shouldn't be legal, but um, <laughs> um, you will actually be able to legally drive that with a normal driver's license. It's kind of wrong, but I like it. Um, now, what about the driver experience? What does it feel like to drive this truck? It's amazing. <laughs> um, because this truck has no gears, it's there's no. Uh, you're not constantly shifting gears. It has one one gear, so it's 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 smooth. It's like driving. It's just like driving a Tesla. It's as though you're driving a Model S or Model X or Model Three. Um, it's just big. Um, and and the point of view that you have is also incredible. We we put the driver in the center, so the driver is actually in in the center of the truck. You're positioned like you're in a race car. Um, you have complete visibility of the road and all the surroundings. So it's a uh, to, to the trucking industry. So what about you know, fueling today? If you're fueling a diesel truck, you've got fumes, spills, toxic environment, prices change all the time. Um, and what a lot of people don't realize is, is it actually t it takes up to 15 minutes or more 
to actually fill a, a, a truck. You have to sit there for 15 minutes while the, the tank gets filled. You can charge at your origin or destination. So while, while you're unloading your cargo, you can charge. Um, so. So the, 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 reason, the, reason, the reason 400 miles is important is because you, ha you, you have to tra take a break eventually. So, so if, if, you, if, you drive for, if you drive for five or six hours, which is a, that's about as much as you want to be driving continuously, because you have to stop for a bathroom break, go, get a bite to eat. Um, in fact, you're legally required to stop for 30 minutes. So that by the time you are, you're done with your break, the, the truck is ready to go. You will not be waiting for your truck to charge. It's a big deal. <laughs> be able to travel any, anywhere in the world on the Tesla Mega Charge network, and, uh, and and that means we can guarantee the electricity rates because this, these will be solar powered mega chargers um, that uh, charge to a Tesla power pack is 24/7 <laughs> guaranteed low electricity. <laughs> what about safety? Now, when I say safety, I'm talking about the, the driver's safety, I'm also talking about other cars on the road, I'm talking about pedestrians, safety for everyone. Um, you, if you've got 80,000 pounds moving at 60 miles an hour, it's, it's a very dangerous thing. Every truck we sell will have enhanced autopilot as standard. Okay. <laughs> It'll automatically brake, but uh, it will actually automatically lane keep as well. So even if, even if uh, even if you're in the truck and you have a medical emergency, the truck will stay in lane and gradually come to a halt and put on the emergencies. If it doesn't hear a response from you, it will actually call emergency services and get an ambulance. It, it's going to take care of you. It's going to take care of other cars. It's going to take care of pedestrians. This is a massive increase in safety. A few other things about safety. It's got, you, with that central position, you're in a very safe position. Uh, even if you were to collide with, with, with a, another semi, uh, you have a low center of gravity that gives you really good handling. It means the probability of a rollover is massively reduced because the battery pack is in the floor pan and, uh, and, and rollover risk is, is, is dramatically reduced. Um, and perhaps most importantly, um, jackknifing is, is uh, u usually the worst nightmare of a, of a trucker. Uh, how do you stop your, your vehicle from, from jackknifing in, if you're in, in difficult conditions? The truck will automatically stop jackknifing because it's got independent motors on each wheel and it'll, it'll dynamically adjust the torque on each wheel so that jack, jackknifing is impossible. <laughs> Worst nightmare is gone with this truck. Gone. You never have to worry about it. <laughs> Reliability. Uh, <laughs> Reliability is incredibly important. A, a truck is, is your life, it's your business. Truck breaks down, you're disappointing your customers. Uh, it, it's, a, it's a horrible day, it could be a horrible week. It could break down in the middle of nowhere, it's the safety issues. And that's why we are guaranteeing that this truck will not break down for a million miles. <laughs> because it has four independent motors. You can lose two of those four motors and the truck will still keep going. In fact, even if you only have two of the four motors active, it'll still be a diesel truck. <laughs> but every time you brake, that kinetic energy of braking goes right straight back into the battery pack instead of, he instead of wearing down a brake pad. So the brake pads basically last forever. The, 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 you never need to replace brake pads ever, ever. Um, and, and this is the feature I like best, thermonuclear explosion-proof glass. Because. <laughs> uh, you can see, look, nothing. Um, survived a nuclear explosion. That was incredible. So the, the, the actually, what's important here is, uh, by nuclear, survives a nuclear explosion, or you get a full refund. <laughs> okay, full refund. Um, and they crack about once a year. Um, and if the truck windshield is cracked, you're not allowed to drive. So it actually, it's truck off-road if you have a cracked, cracked windshield. And that, and that means lost revenue, disappointed customers. It's a terrible, it's a terrible day. And you, if you're stuck in the middle of nowhere, it can take ages to get a to get a new windshield. So actually, this 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 detail, uh, this detail matters a lot. This is a sort of normal. It's like 
we take it for granted uh, with, uh, if you've got a Model S or Model X or something like that, but this is not normal, actually, for trucks. You have full access to all your truck information, you've got remote diagnostics, you can, uh, you can see uh, what's going on, preventative maintenance, the truck will actually anticipate when it needs to be, ma when it needs maintenance, and, and inform you ahead of time. Um, and uh, it, it connects with uh, the fleet, so if, you've got, if you're trying to manage a fleet of thousands of trucks, this is also incredibly important, all this data's coming in, you know exactly what's going on, uh, it's gonna uh, really help you manage the trucking. Now, this Tesla stuff is expensive. Um, <laughs> but we realized that trucking, the economics of trucking matter tremendously. If, if, you have a if your cost per mile is too high, it, it doesn't make economic sense. You can't make it work. The, the fully accounted for true cost of trucking, a diesel truck will be 20% more expensive than a, than a Tesla Semi per mile. So, <laughs> we'll beat a diesel truck on economics, day one. And this is, at, this is a worst case scenario. So it gets better than this. This is the this is the this is the worst case scenario comparison. This is taking max vehicle gross. It's, it's going at 60 miles an hour, um, and it's assuming $250 ga gasoline price. We're guaranteeing a seven cent kilowatt wholesale price. I want to be clear about that. So this is real. These are real numbers. Now, one truck. One, a Tesla truck considered by itself beats other diesel trucks. But what if you have a convoy? So what if you have t a, a trucks, two trucks following? So you, you're, you're, you're more like a train, dr a train driver. In fact, um, the, the convoy technology, the tracking technology, this is something that we are confident we can do today 10 times safer than a human driver. It gets way better. Now a diesel truck is twice as expensive as a Tesla Semi. Th this, so it's, what this means is it's, it's not just economic suicide to use one diesel truck, it's economic suicide for rail. This beats rail. And that defeats rail um, in a convoy scenario. And pr production begins 2019. So if you order now, get the car, the truck in two years. All right. So. Tesla, the Tesla Semi, I hope you guys enjoyed what you saw. All right, guys, take it away. Thank you, thanks. So it turns out there was some cargo in the truck. There's some cargo in the truck. Uh, we thought we'd bring it out. Um, we, we started Tesla. We started Tesla with a sports car, Tesla Roadster. So that's that. That baby got us going. 
Uh, it's, it's the, it was the, the, the foundation of the whole company. It was the Tesla Roadster. People have asked us for a long time, when are you going to make a new Roadster? We are making it now. Yeah. You know, there's, uh, I don't know if you've watched Spaceballs, maybe, but yeah. there's, there's, only thing, there's only one thing that's beyond ludicrous, which is plaid. <laughs> so the, the Tesla, the, the new Tesla Roadster will be the fastest car, production car ever made, period. Be, this, is the ba this is the base model. Okay. This is the base model. We're going to talk about things beyond base, maybe next year or sometime. This is the base model. The base model will do 0 to 60 in 1.9 seconds. Okay. It'll, that, is, that is the fastest. This will be the first time that any car has broken two seconds at 0 to 60. It'll do the quarter mile in 8.9 seconds. Okay. This is what we're achieving in the prototype. I wouldn't say what the actual top speed is, but it's above 250 miles an hour. The, the range, this is going to have a 200 kilowatt hour battery pack. Um, 600, 620 mile range, that's a 1,000 kilometer range. This will be the first time an electric vehicle breaks 1,000 kilometers. A production electric vehicle will travel more than 1,000 kilometers in a single charge at highway speed. The, the, the point of doing this is to just give the hardcore smackdown to gasoline cars. So it's all-wheel drive, one motor in the front, two, in, two on the rear. We'll do torque steering. As I said, 200 kilometer hour, kilometer hour battery pack, 10,000 newton meters of torque. If you know what that means, it's just stupid. <laughs> um, it's also a four-seater. Yeah. So it's a two plus two, two plus two. Okay, you can't put giant people in the in the rear seat. <laughs> Expect this to be available in, in 2020. Um, so, yeah, exactly. Um, so, would you like to come up? Would you like to come up and? Okay. Coming up. Come on. <laughs> what the hell are?